everyone welcome back to my channel so today I'm doing a very very exciting video something that I've been looking forward to for a while it's going to be me trying to be a vegan for a week this is something I've wanted to do for a really long time and obviously because I love making videos and I love sharing my life I wanted to film it for you guys or film it just to log it for myself. I've wanted to try out being vegan for a really long time just because I love animals so much and I really care about the environment. <laughs> I honestly couldn't care less about the health benefits of it because I eat like really bad anyway so it doesn't really matter to me. But I would just love to feel like I am having a positive impact on the environment so it's something that I really wanted to try and just see if I can do. I'm excited to be enlightened on this whole subject because I feel like the best way that you can learn about it and um, get a better understanding of it is if you just dive in and try it for yourself. I feel like this intro is super dramatic and it's not actually that big of a deal. Maybe I'm being a drama queen. So yeah, if that sounds like something that you guys would be interested in watching, then just keep doing so. Hey guys, so I'm in bed. It is Saturday night and instead of being out and partying, I'm in bed and about to watch a documentary. I was going to watch Earthling, but it's not on Netflix. Just like everything else that I ever want to watch on Netflix, they removed it. But they have got a few other ones like Cowspiracy. They've actually got quite a few, so... I thought I would watch that just to get me in the mood. Maybe I'll watch Cowspiracy. I just want to watch something that will get me inspired and in the mood for my little vegan week. I'm actually really excited. Tomorrow's my last day. I've actually never seen Cowspiracy before. I've seen Earthlings, but I haven't seen this one, so. And now time to get comfy. And I'll check in with you guys tomorrow when I do my little grocery shop. And yeah, see you guys then. Okay, so it is now. That's what I figured. Oh my god, everything happening. I'm just gonna go sit in my mum's room to talk about this because it's the furthest room away from that nonsense. Um. So yeah, it's Sunday now. I'm gonna go grocery shopping. I've already got like a few bits and pieces of like, I've got Sour Patch Kids Oreos. Um, vegan chicken nuggets. I'm just on Pinterest now because I've pinned a few recipes. So I just want to see what I need for those. So I've got a little vegan board here. So I've pinned quite a few recipes here. I'm really excited to try these out. I'm only going to get things for half of the week because I don't want things to go off and then I'll get more things on like Thursday or something like that. I'm gonna need so many avocados because I'm obsessed with avocados and pretty much everything has avocados in it. So I'm not mad about that. Okay, so I'm ready to go to Safeway. I've written down some ingredients that I need for the week. I actually don't need as much as I thought that I would. Oops, I forgot my backpack. Yeah, I don't need as much as I thought that I would need to get. But honestly, I'm such like a shopaholic person, so I feel like I would just impulsively buy like a bunch of stuff that I probably won't even need. I almost forgot my reusable bags. That would have been a travesty. Okay, take two. Let's go. Oh my god. Potatoes are so heavy. So, I got quite a few things. I don't think I got everything. Well, I know I didn't get everything that I needed because for some reason I was feeling like super anxious when I was in the store and I was just like getting really hot and overworked and I just didn't want to be in there. So, I didn't get everything that I needed, but it's okay because I'm going to Charlie's house tonight. So, if I need anything, I'll just get it with him. But yeah, oh my God, this sack of potatoes was so... Heavy. I just got like um kind of raw foods like the lettuce, got a few apples, some carrots, some cherry tomatoes, a garlic for my pasta, some lemon for my pasta as well, a cucumber because got to have these always. I got some oranges to have with my breakfast or lunch just on the side. And then I got four avocados because I told you guys I'm going to need a lot of avocados. But it cost me $10 to get four avocados. Then this freaking heavy sack 
of potatoes. Then I got some hummus. I've actually never really had hummus before, so hopefully I like it. Then just some smooth peanut butter. And then I got these Thin's Original Chips. Original chips aren't my go-to chip at all, but they were the only ones that were vegan, so. And then that's all the stuff that I bought today, but I do have like a bunch of just little bits and pieces of stuff that I've bought um, in the past few weeks because I was just like too excited, so I just wanted to get them then. So I've got these rice protein and chia nuggets. These look so freaking cool and I'm really excited to try them. I've heard that fries make some really good vegan stuff. So I'm very excited to have these. I feel like these will be good for a movie night when I can't really be bothered making dinner. And then I got some Halo Top ice cream. I got it in the dairy free one, obviously. But I think this might be one of the only flavors that is dairy free. It was the only one at my store. I don't know if they have any other ones, but it's got coconut milk in it. And then I got this pizza shred vegan pizza cheese because I want to make vegan pizza for one of my dinners for one night. So I thought this would be really cool to try. And then I got this unsweetened vanilla almond milk just for smoothies and stuff. Plus how freaking cute is the bottle. And then I got these little tortillas for my quesadillas. I checked to see if they were vegan. I got some Oreos. Oreos aren't my snack of choice either, but if I, you know, like have no other biscuit options, I'll go with Oreos. I don't hate them. I just got a few of the Keep It Cleaner products. I wanted to try these anyway, and then I realized that they were vegan, so I decided to save them for this video. But I just got this protein choc cherry bar. I've heard a lot about this. And then I got two of their protein bliss balls. So I got the peanut butter one and the acai berry one. And that is all of the food that I've got. I've got a lot of food. So yeah, I'll check back in with you guys, I guess tomorrow. Hello everyone. So I got a lash lift. Annie got a lash lift. Beautiful. Um, so it's first day of veganism. Um, I actually had a really good eating day today. I ate lots of yummy foods. It didn't even feel like I was eating vegan. Like I was just eating yummy food. Yay. So <laughs> shut up. Anyway, I had a smoothie for breakfast this morning and it was really good. I tried it with my new almond milk and Charlie didn't really like his. I made one for him, but he didn't like the almond milk. Um, and oh my god, I failed so much. I tried to take a sip of Charlie's to see that if it was good, and then like I flicked it and it, failed. And it splat everywhere. You guys should have seen it. And then Charlie's dad walked in while I was like on the floor, like trying to get it all up. And I was like, hey. And then I came home, I had some peanut butter toast, which was good. Hey. Um, and then I made avocado pasta for dinner with cherry tomatoes and it was really really good I actually really enjoyed it which I didn't think I would but it was really good and I've just had a shower and now I'm going to watch 13 reasons why I'm up to episode 8 I really want to try this ice cream hey let's give this a try it's really chalky like, it just like tastes like protein powder. <laughs> oh, I'll just like force myself to eat it. Yeah, it's a little bit chalky and definitely tastes healthy, like protein. It doesn't even taste vegan though. Oh, That's sure, right. just go ahead. Whoa, that is a massive scoop. Yeah, that is oh actually protein powder. Yeah, it is. Hello, Brody. Hello, everyone. It is the second day. Um, it is around 12. So I'm going to have some lunch. I just had peanut butter toast and sliced up oranges for breakfast this morning. And I'm going to have leftovers for lunch. I hope that it's still good like a day later because you know how avocados go all gross and brown. I feel like that's what's happening there. But I'm just going to put some olive oil in it and some cherry tomatoes. So far I have been loving this because... I don't know, it's just fun to do and I feel like I have all of my meals planned out and it's fun to just cook things. I love cooking. But it's also kind of scary, like 
I keep feeling like I'm not eating enough or that I'm missing out on certain things. Like I'm like, oh, should I be having supplements of other things? Like, should I be putting more of this into my diet? Should I be putting more of that into my meals? It's kind of scary. So maybe I should do a bit more research. I did tons of research before I started doing this thing, but I just can't help but feel like I'm doing it wrong. That I'm like not giving myself enough of something. So yeah, I think I'm gonna have, I don't know. I don't know what I'd be missing out on, but yeah. I don't know, I'll sort that out. I think I might just have to start incorporating more like food groups into my meals, like more veggies, more fruits, more like nuts and stuff like that. But yeah, I have work tonight until 7.30, from 2.30 to 7.30. So I wanna have like a quick dinner that I can make after work. So yeah, I feel like quesadillas would be like a good quick dinner. But yeah, now I'm going to heat up this pasta, add some olive oil and some cherry tomato. Okay, I'm back from work and in my pajamas and... We just finished FaceTiming my mum because she's in Thailand, so that was nice. Um, so now it's dinner time. I'm freaking hungry. It's 8.25 and I'm going to make some quesadillas. Hey, gorgeous girl. I love how you literally just said, oh, I hate you. And now you're like, hey, gorgeous girl. So we're in the kitchen. We're about to make some quesadillas. I've already prepared everything. I just have to make them. I've got this massive I don't know what this is called what should I do first I don't know what I'm doing okay I've just prepared the avocado on half of these quesadillas I'm hoping I'll have leftovers for lunch tomorrow so that's why I made three but let's be honest I'll probably eat them all um, um I don't know what I'm doing I'm kind of stressed for some reason let's just chuck it on Chuck them all on at the same time. No, they don't fit. We'll just sprinkle on some tomatoes. Um, you're supposed to have onions and I didn't get any. So I'm not having any onions. And you're supposed to have salsa as well. Didn't have any salsa. So I'm just using leftover taco seasoning. But yeah. I do have some black beans though. I improvised the black beans. Because what the hell is a quesadilla without black beans? I don't think I was meant to put oil on this. This is kind of dumb. Let's just drizzle some taco seasoning. And it says to add some seasonings. I don't know what kind of seasonings you're meant to put on. I've got sweet paprika and garlic powder. I don't know if they're going to taste good. Why am I like squatting like that? Okay, so let's just put some on. That's a lot. I feel like it's gonna be gross. Oh my god, I suck at this. I'm gonna add some bio cheese to. I'm really nervous to try this because I feel like it's gonna be gross. Or oh, it stinks. I'm only adding a little bit because I feel like it's gonna be gross. Okay. <gasps> Time to flip it over. I think I'm gonna make this one off the skillet before I like cook it so that it doesn't burn like these ones. <laughs> Let's flip them. Oh. How have I done? Oh, guys. What the hell? This is, oh my god, this is sad. Okay, that was a bit of a fail. Oh my god, I'm so bad at this. Oh my god, the tortilla just split. Oh. Why is my life so hard? It's split. Oh, 
Danny. Look at this. Oh, it's freaking yum. Yum? Yes. It looks like a piece of poo. Oh my god, it looks so good. Okay, besides the fact that these quesadillas, quesadillas, <laughs> quesadillas look like trash, they're actually really good and you can't even taste that the cheese isn't normal cheese. And I am impressed with myself. I'm not impressed with like my cooking skills, but I'm impressed with the taste. The cooking skills. That was a big fail. Hello everyone, it's the next day. I haven't filmed any of my eating today, but right now I'm about to go out for dinner with a few girlfriends. And we're going to this place called like Veggie Bowl or something, which I don't know, I'm super fussy, so I'm probably gonna hate it, but I'm really excited to go out and get something vegan to eat. I think it will be really fun. And I really need to pee, and they're on their way to pick me up right now, so I'm really on a time crunch. But yeah, I'm really excited, so I'll show you guys what I get when I get there. I've never Four. tried them, so I've tried them. So, this is actually yeah. uh, Asian I food, know, I didn't I realize. So, hey guys, <laughs> these are mine. <laughs> so, this is all. This is like all vegan. This is. I don't even know what anything is called. Dude, the chicken tastes like real chicken. It's Wait, this so idiot. It's so I'm crazy. Nice. <laughs> okay, so I'm back from dinner now. It was actually really good. I don't like Asian food usually. But I actually really liked that. The spring rolls were like my favorite. I usually don't like spring rolls. I don't like vegetable spring rolls. And I have no idea what was inside those spring rolls. But it was like white and chewy. And it was really good. Especially with that like orange sauce. Um, and everything was vegan. Like we got honey cashew chicken. And it was vegan. And it tasted like normal chicken. It even looked like normal chicken. It was just so cool. People have such a bad idea of it, but like you can eat so many things and there's so many substitutes for it that taste exactly the same. And so many shops are so open to vegan options these days. It's like so much easier to be vegan. But now I'm just like snacking on Oreos. I told you guys that I didn't even like Oreos when I bought them in the first place, but like I've almost eaten this whole box in like less than a day. So I actually like them now. <laughs> hey guys, so today was my last day of this vegan week. Um, I haven't videoed what I've been eating for the past few days because I had like a really bad past few days and then today and yesterday was pretty much just me like getting over it and like getting back into the good vibes. I did film a few things last night. No, the night before last night when I made pizza for dinner, the pizza was disgusting. It was really bad. Um, I don't know what it was. I think it was the cheese. The cheese just was no good. It had like the weirdest texture in the entire universe and it just kind of tasted like I was eating tomato paste on bread. I was trying to make a margarita pizza with some avocado and red onion. Didn't, didn't work. It was really bad. I had to like chuck it out. Um, I also had some Pringles, which I just found out were vegan. I had some paprika ones, which I've never had before and those were actually really good. But yeah, today is the last day. I will do like a little proper sit down recap tomorrow. But just to finish it off, it's a nice Sunday night. So I thought I would do this rocket science bath bomb. I'm like pretty sure everything from Lush is vegan. So I'm just gonna have a nice bath with this bath bomb. This is what the bath bomb looks like. How pretty is that? Okay, let's see if this actually does anything. I'm obsessed. If you look closely, closely, you can see like glitter in the water. I'm obsessed if you haven't already noticed. Okay, so it is time to do a recap of this week, this whole vegan week. 
Um, overall, I really enjoyed it. It was a really eye-opening and educational experience. And I did want to say, like, during the last few days, a lot of, like, everyone has something to say about you being vegan. At work, if I would tell the person I was working with or a customer that I'm close to, they'd be like, what are you doing that for? Or, that's so inconvenient for everyone else. Like, that's what this one customer said to me. She's like, do you know how inconvenient that will be for your mum and everyone who's with you? What about when you go out for dinner? What are you supposed to eat then? A salad? And, like, people just have such a misconception about veganism. And it's, like, really annoying. Like, I was so sick of hearing it. I was like, shut up. Especially the older generation, I think, have a way bigger misconception pardon misconception of what veganism actually is and what you can actually eat i was also surprised myself about how much you can actually eat um because a lot of people are just like oh enjoy your lettuce for lunch and breakfast and dinner but you can eat a lot i actually gained weight when i was eating vegan which i wasn't expecting and i didn't appreciate but it happened but also it does make you realize how much of animal products you actually consume in every single meal. After eating my first meal that wasn't vegan on Monday, I was like, wow, like this has animal products in it, this has, this has, this has. And I was like, whoa, like you consume so much in just a single meal that you don't even think about. I feel like the whole week was kind of a bit wishy-washy for me because sometimes I was loving it, sometimes I was hating it. Like my stomach was churning at all times. Like it just felt like something was going on in there like all the time and it was like hurting, just felt uncomfortable. I don't know if I did it very well. Like I feel like if I ever would go vegan for real, like full time, then it would be something like a process. Like I would have to ease myself into it. I would also have to wait until I moved out because it was, um, a little bit hard to sustain like because obviously I have a house of seven people no one eats vegan everyone eats meat eats dairy products stuff like that so I would have to buy everything for myself make my all my dinners um, and stuff like that so I think I would have to wait until I was financially stable enough to actually move out because then I would be financially stable enough to buy all of my own meals <laughs> But it was such a, such a good experience and I'm so, so glad I would do it. It's definitely something I would consider doing again or even just vegetarian. But as I said before, I would have to ease myself into it or just research heaps more. I did research a lot, but researching more about recipes and substitutes and stuff like that. Because it was super, super interesting to research and it was a really fun experience and I loved it so much. I am so glad I did it, like not a single bit of me regrets it because it was just really interesting to see that kind of side of it all by experiencing it. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video, I'm I'm sure it's like a 40 million minute long video so sorry about that. I didn't know whether I should put it in two parts or just one long video. Um, But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm really excited to watch it back and edit it just to go through that whole journey again. And yeah, if you like the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and comment something down below because I'd really actually like to talk about this, um, even if people could educate me a little bit more and just say what they think, their experiences, if they're vegan or if they've ever been vegan and stuff like that. So yeah, I hope you guys have a good day today and thank you for watching my video. Bye guys.